हेलो हेलो एम आई ऑडिबल विजिबल हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग मेरी आवाज आ रही है एम ऑडिबल एंड विजिबल प्लीज से यस इफ आई एम ऑडिबल एंड विजिबल गुड मॉर्निंग केपी जय गुड मॉर्निंग जानवी सारा दिव्यानी ऋषि कुमार एब्सोल्युटली ऑडिबल एंड विजिबल ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द सेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सॉरी बिकॉज ऑफ सम टेक्निकल इश्यूज एंड नाउ वी आर फाइन so first of all welcome you all at grid up uh, this is me salik and uh, today we are going to start uh, with the march current affairs 2021 and this is the part 2 so please be with us and this current affairs series will be very important for you for any exams okay so without uh, wasting our time so let's start with uh, the awards and honors this is the part 2 of the march session and we are starting with the awards and honors so the first question is uh, which film has won the best picture award in drama category in golden globes award 2021 okay and uh, this is a very recent news in march only and uh, golden globes award are very important in fact and your options are a nomad land b borat subsequent movie film c parasite and d none of the above okay so uh, please answer uh, this question i am waiting for your answer shiva ji hi hi sir hi everybody rishi kumar is saying a sara vasi is saying a anybody else okay so uh, the right answer is janvi divyani all are saying a okay yes the right answer is a nomad land is the uh, right answer uh, this is from the article from cbs news uh, you can see at the 78th golden globes award uh, nomad land has has won the best award for best drama film okay anshika ranjan kp jai you all are right yes okay Uh, so uh, these are some of the important you can say highlights uh, you cannot remember all important uh, as far as golden globe awards are concerned uh, but uh, you should remember the important ones only okay so these two are considered as most important as far as exams are concerned so best film award in drama category has been given to nomadland okay and best film award under musical or comedy category has been given to borat subsequent movie film okay is it clear now let's move further uh, the second question and the second question is uh, who has been awarded with sahitya academy award 2020 in english language uh, see sahitya academy award is very very important please uh, star mark it these questions are readily asked in exams okay so uh, we'll be discussing about what exactly is the sahitya academy award uh, but uh, you should answer this question first and the options are a arundhati subrata uh, b arundhati roy c arvind subramanyam and d arundhati subramanyam uh, please answer this question kp jai is saying b saravasi uh, b maybe uh, rishi kumar is saying d ritik uh, ritika srivastav saying b divyani saying d anjali thakur also d abhilasha tiwari saying b aryan khan is saying can we get the pdf okay i'll i'll talk about this uh, regarding arrangement of pdf we'll try to arrange that pdf for you okay so today we had some technical issues but i'll try my best that uh, pdf should be put on this videos okay uh, aryan khan is saying b uh, shiva ji uh, saying d pooja and dipanshu is saying b uh, so most of the people are saying b actually right Uh, because arundhati roy is a very famous writer so you must be thinking of this uh, anshika ranjan is saying d but you know uh, uh, b is not the right answer 
I deliberately gave you this answer, and the answer is D. Arundhati Subramanyam. So this is an article, Poet Arundhati Subramanyam among 20 winners of 2020 Sahitya Academy Award, actually. Okay, so uh, I'll be explaining a little bit about what exactly is a Sahitya Academy Award. You can see here uh, for her work, When the God is a Traveler, this is her work. And in English medium, uh, she has got this award. Okay, and Shikha Ranjan, you're right, yes, D. Now, uh, what is a Sahitya Academy Award? It is a literary honor. Literary honor means award given in the field of literature right in india which the sahitya academy gives india's national academy of letters gives this award okay so it gives award in 24 uh, languages actually uh, uh, let me explain you what exactly it is see uh, as far as uh, uh, eighth schedule is concerned i hope you are aware of this concept called as eighth schedule in the indian constitution there is an eighth schedule in the indian constitution and this eight schedule mentions 22 languages. Yes, confused between Arundhati. Yes. Uh, 22 languages, right? Okay, plus uh, two more languages. And they are English and Rajasthani. Okay. So in all, it becomes 24 languages. Okay. 22 plus two more languages, English and Rajasthani. So, Sahitya Academy uh, gives award in as uh, Sahitya Academy award in total 24 languages. Okay, uh, and this is I have taken from the website of them only. Okay, so please remember it and go and read more about the eighth schedule. Please remember, eighth schedule does not contain the language English because sometimes in some exam they ask which of the following is not the language mentioned in the eighth schedule and they give you English. Okay, so English is not a language in eighth schedule. Okay, yes, is it clear now? Uh, let's move uh, about the Sahitya Academy Award 2020. So, uh, in all, uh, we have actually 24 awards. So, right now, only 20 awards have been given. And four will be given later on, on four languages. Okay, uh, that you can go and find more about it. Uh, we'll be discussing about the two languages, uh, awards in two languages. You can say English and Hindi. Because we cannot remember all the 24 languages and the awards of all the 24 languages. It is very difficult and uh, rarely any exam will ask. Okay, so in English, uh, the person who has got the award is uh, when God is a traveler, it's a poetry. Uh, Arundhati Subramanyam is the person. Okay. Now, in Hindi medium, Pokri uh, Me Diganth Der Gatha 2014, it's a poetry record written by Anamika. So she has got in uh, Hindi category. Okay, is it clear? Now, let's move further. Uh, the question three, the question three says, which of the following newspaper has got the champions? Publisher of the year 2020. Actually, and the options are the Hindu, Indian Express, Times of India, and Hindustan Times. These are the four options, and you have to tell the correct one. The question is which of the following has got the champions publisher of the year 2020? Okay. These are the four options. KPJ is saying B, sir. Diviani is also saying B. Anybody else? The Panshu Singh is saying B. Rishi Kumar is saying C. Janvi Aryan saying B might be. Even if you don't know, you can try. I mean, there is no negative marking here. So you can try. Anybody else? Uh, Suraj Kumar is saying Hindu. Okay, uh, Madhuri Allah is saying C. Aryan Khan confused between B and A. Shivaji is saying C. Saravasi is saying C. Okay, uh, Aditya Balian, hello. Ha, hello. So I think only one person is correct, and that is Suraj Kumar. He said the Hindu. Yes, the Hindu is the right answer. The Champions Publisher of the Year Award 2020 has been given. Yes, Sahil Shukla, you are also right. A. So, uh, this is from March 3, 2021. Ritika Srivastava, yes, uh, A is right. Van Ifra names the Hindu group champion publisher of the year 2020. So, uh, let's see something about what exactly is Van Ifra. It is a World Association of New Publisher, News Publishers or Van Ifra. You can say it is a global organization of the world press. So, uh, it's a global organization of world press. And we don't need to go in detail about what exactly is Van Ifra. 
So this uh, gives awards uh, for two di different digital media networks and all that. Okay. Is it clear? Now, uh, let's move uh, to the fourth question. And the fourth question says, who has been awarded with International Women of Courage Award 2021? Okay. Now, your options are A, Gosalia Shankar, B, Anand Shankar, C, Priyanka Chopra, and D, Kamla Harris. Pranjal Bhardwaj, hi, hi. Welcome. So, please answer this question. And uh, these are the options. Janvi saying C Priyanka Chopra. Anybody else? Sahil Shukla Rishi saying C. Pranjali saying D. Kamla Harris. Ashish Singh Rajput and Dipanshu Puja Divyani all are saying D. Please give a uh, show agility in answering the question. Even if you don't know, you can uh, wild guess. No problem. Madhuriya is saying D. Ashish Tannu Yadav is saying D. Actually, no one is going near to that. No one has given me the right answer. Sir, you said you take class on quiet today. Uh, not, uh, may not be today. Sahil, uh, it may not be today, but uh, maybe tomorrow or within three, four days. Uh, I cannot guarantee today only. But there will be class in this week only or in the three, four days. Okay. Yashi Ujwal is saying A. Aryan Khan is saying C. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Yashi Ujwal is right. A is the right answer. Gosala Shankar is the right answer. Okay. Uh, you can see this uh, from the Hindu only. 13th March, Gosala Shankar nominated for International Women of Courage 2021 Award. Okay. Now, the US consulate honored Tamil Nadu based anti caste activist and human rights defender Gosala Shankar with a nomination for the International Women of Courage Award. Okay. Is it clear? So, you can say it is given by the Department of State of the US government. Okay. So, you can say in short that it is given by US government. Okay. Uh, let's move uh, further. Aditya Balian is saying, A, B, C, D, sab bol do kuch to hoga hi. Uh, right, but uh, yes, you should try your best. Ki. It's a mock test. So that will be a practice for you. Okay, uh, question five. Who has been awarded with Bihari Puraskar 2020? And your options are uh, A, Mohan Krishn Bohara, uh, B, Anand Bohara, C, Arind Bhati Roy, and D, Amrish Tripathi. And Bihari Proskar is in fact also important, so please star mark it. What is the right answer? Anybody? Prachi Seth is saying C, and Shika and Deepanchu is saying A. KPJ is saying C, sir. Yeshi Ujwala is saying C. Rahil Shukla is also saying C. Anybody else? Show agility, show in answering the question. KP Jha, Rishi. KP Jha, uh, Anjali Thakur is saying C. Rishi is saying D. Madhura Allah and Aditya Balyan is saying A. Ashish Singh Rajput is saying D. Shivaji and Suraj Pranjal Bhardwaj A. All are saying A. Ritika Srivastav is saying A. Madhuri Allah is saying A. Yes, uh, A is the right answer. A is the right answer. Bohan Krishn Bohara. Okay. Now, uh, you can see this article from uh, Hindustan Times on 5th March 2021 and it says Bohan Krishn Bohara wins Bihari Puraskar. Okay. Uh, please remember one thing. Uh, Bihari Puraskar is given by KK Birla Foundation. So sometimes they ask this in exam. KK Birla Foundation. Okay, uh, one more information. We will provide you PDF uh, in this video on the YouTube channel. I uh, will be sending this PDF. Okay, so you will get after some time. Okay, somebody was asking for PDF. That's why I am saying. Okay, now uh, let's move on to the sixth question. And uh, the sixth question says, who has been uh, awarded the Grammy Awards 2021 in the category of Album of the Year? In fact, Grammy Awards are also uh, very important. 
uh, your options are A. Bailey Elish, B. Taylor Swift, C. Tiara Thomas, and D. Ariana Grande. Please answer this question. Can anyone read me, Abhijit? Yes, hi. Divyani is saying A. Uh, Anshika Ranjan is saying Taylor Swift. Rais KP Jha. And Divyani is saying A. Arnav Singh is saying D. Prachi Seth is saying D. Yashi is saying A. Okay. Sohail is saying A. KP Jha is also saying A. Aditya Balian is saying Taylor Didi. Yes. Pranjal <laughs> uh, Aryan, yes, right. Uh, Taylor Swift is the right answer, actually. So, uh, as far as album of the year is concerned, uh, Taylor Swift has been given this award for her work, Folklore. Okay. Now, uh, let's move on to the uh, next question and see who has, been who has been awarded Grammy Awards 2021 in the category of Record of the Year. Please be cautious. Previous one was album of the year. Okay. So that was to Taylor Swift. And this is for a record of the year. So I'll not be going, I'll not be talking about all the Grammy Awards, but only talking about the important ones. Okay. Uh, because if you start reading every uh, awards, it becomes very difficult for you to remember. So your options are A, Taylor Swift, B, B, B Elish, C, Tiara Thomas, and D, Ariana Grande. Uh, the same four options. Abhi Yadav Divyani is saying B. Anshi Ranjan. Okay, so there is almost unanimous consensus. Prachi, Rishi, Abhijit, Yashi, Rais, Soel, Pranjal, Bardavaj, all are saying B. Yes. Uh, Anjali, Akur, uh, Abhi Yadav. Abhi Yadav is saying A. Divyani is saying B. Okay, so the right answer is B. Bili Elish is the uh, right answer. So for record of the year, Bili Elish has been given the award. Everything I wanted. Okay. Is it clear? So please remember these two album of the year and record of the year. These two are chances that they may ask in exam. Okay, okay. Now let's move on to the eighth question. And the eighth question says, who has been awarded with BBC Indian Sportswoman of the Year 2020? And your options are A, Koneru Hampi, B, Rani Rampal, C, Manu Bhaikar, and D, Vinesh Bogat. Yashi Ajwal is saying 8A eight, eight, done. Rai is Shivaji with full uh, confidence they are saying. Yes, this is called confidence, right? Sahil Shukla Prachi is saying D. Pooja Madhuri Divyani Rai is Abhijit. Abhijit is saying Rani Rampal. Okay. Madhuri Divyani, uh, they are saying A. Janvi, Ritika Sirvastav, Rai is Anjali. They are saying A. Rishi Kumar is saying B. Answer Sunday saying A. Uh, so the right answer is A actually. Uh, Konera Hampi. Please remember this. Uh, Konera Hampi. She is a chess player. Is BBC Indian Sportswoman of the Year award. She has won this award. Konera Hampi. Okay. So this is from 8th March 2021. Now uh, let's move on uh, to the next question. That is the question number 9. And the question number 9 says who has been awarded FIAF award 2021? Okay, uh, this is the first time, this is the first time an Indian has received this award. Okay. So it becomes a little important. Okay, and your options are A, Amitabh Bachchan, B, Sushant Singh Rajput, C, Ajay Devgan, and D, Ashkshay Kumar. Prachi and Ritika Srivastav A. Divyani saying A. Rai Swail has written Amitabh Bachchan G. Pooja, Yashi Yashwal, Yashi Ujwal, Tanjal, Tanvi is saying A. Rai is saying A. Rishi Kumar is saying B. Ashish Singh Rajput is saying B. SSR, Anjali Thakur A. 
رئیس سوہیل دیا کس نے تھا اچھا آوارڈ کس نے دیا تھا ویل ڈسکس اٹ سر ایف آئی ایف کا فل فرم کیا ہے آئیل ڈسکس اٹ آئیل ڈسکس ایف آئی ایف لیٹل بٹ مدوری آشیش بی ابھی یادو رئیس سوہیل سنگ اے انجلی سنگ اے اوکی نو دا انسر اس اے امیتا بچن یو کین سی دس اس دا لوگو آف ایف آئی ایف اینڈ Uh, you can see this article from Hindustan Times. Amitabh Bachchan receives FIF award for contributing to cinema. Christopher Norrell calls him a uh, living legend. Okay, so uh, what is FIF? Uh, you, if you are interested to read more, you can pause the video. You can Google search it. But uh, I'll give you a little idea. It is a, you can say, Paris based. Okay, so you can see here, uh, FIF, it is called as International Federation of Film Archives, uh, which in French can be abbreviated as FIF, was founded in Paris. by this, uh, this, this organization all that. Uh, the job of it is to bring together the world's leading institution in the field of moving picture heritage. It's actually Pliates describe themselves as the defender of 20th century's own art form. It means they give uh, uh, awards and recommendations to the film and all that. Okay, so if you are interested, you can pause and read more. Okay, now, it is a, remember it is a Paris-based organization. Now, uh, let's move on uh, to the 10th question. And the 10th question says, who has been awarded Vyas Samman Award 2020? Okay. And their options are uh, Nasira Sharma, Leela Dhar Jagudi, uh, Professor Sharad Kumar, and Professor Sharad Pagare. These are the four options. Uh, please star mark this question also, because uh, these are generally asked, Vyas Samman Award are generally asked in various examinations. So that is why please star mark it. Uh, please answer this question. Ten ka D done. Yashi Ajwal. With full confidence. Uh, Prachi Shrais Tannu Yadav Divyani. Tanjal uh, saying D. Aryan is saying with full confidence. Professor Sharad Kumar. Rais Nilofar Sheikh and Aditya Balian is saying D. Aryan Kumar. Aryan Khan. Aryan Khan is saying C. Anjali saying C. Rais Madhuri. Ritika Srivastav C. of Pali is saying D. Okay, anybody else? Okay, so the answer is uh, uh, actually, Janvi is also saying B, yes, you are right. Sharath uh, Pagare is the uh, right answer. You can see this from Ashtak announcement of Vyas Saman of 2020 on Express of Patliputra to Sharath Pagare. So his work is Express, Impress of Patliputra, sorry. Impress of Patliputra is his work. And the person that has been awarded is Mr. Sharath Pagare. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, uh, please remember this Nasira Sharma and Liladhar Jagudi also got Vyas Saman Award. Uh, but they got, I think, last year or last to last year in 2018-19. Okay. So that is why D is the uh, right answer. Okay. Now, uh, uh, please do press the like button because whenever you press like button, we get uh, motivation to make a very good quality video. Uh, please comment, uh, share with other people and do subscribe our channel also. Okay. Now, we are having a CLAD 2021 batches. So uh, if you are interested, please do join it. And we are uh, we have batches for Black, uh, Jamia, AMU, Aligarh, and all that. So if you are interested, please do join our courses. It will be highly fruitful. If you are in class 11th or 12th, you are thinking how to attempt in the next year also. Uh, we have our batches for the next year also. Because it is rightly said that the earlier you start, the better is for you. Okay. Now, uh, let's talk about the 11th question. And the 11th question says, Who has been awarded Gandhi Peace Prize 2020? Okay. So your options are A, Mujibur Rahman, B, Sultan of Oman, C, Sultan of Kuwait, and D, A and B both. Oh. Prachi is saying helpful session. Thank you, sir. Sir, please take class on LAC disengagement. Okay. Okay, I'll keep this in mind. Nilofar Rais, Sahil Shukla is saying, Prachi is saying A. Divyani is saying B. Okay. Uh, before answering, I I'll give you some hint. Please uh, read this question properly. Gandhi Peace Prize 2020 has been given to which person? Now, why I tell you? Because uh, the chances that in sometimes exam, uh, they twist the question. Sometimes they add not. in some option and people get confused that uh, they did not read the note and the answer is, becomes wrong. 
the slight uh, change can uh, you can say create problem for you aryan khan is saying a a pakka hoga sir is bar tia upal is saying a agni is saying d mujibur rahman confirmed abhi yadav nilofar a nilofar rais samritika srivastava is saying a rajesh kumar sakshi roy is saying a parash padikal is saying a so those who are saying a please tell me who is mujibur rahman Rais Wale Singh Sayyid Al Sayyid in 2019. Abhi Yadav is also saying A. Yes. Uh, so the right answer is A. Mujibur Rahman. So please tell me who is Mujibur Rahman. Anybody? Okay. So this is an article from Indian Express uh, dated 22nd March 2021. And it says Gandhi Peace Prize 2020 conferred to Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. 2009 prize for late Sultan of Oman. Father of Bangladesh, Tibiani. Yes, you are absolutely right. Yes, Sahil Shukla, father of Bangladesh, Aryan Khan, founding father. Yes, Rahul, Tanu Yadav, all are right. So, in 2020, Gandhi Peace Prize has been given to Sheikh Mojibur Rahman, and the last year, 2019, was given to late Sultan of Oman. Actually, this, uh, this person died very recently, I think one year back only. And his name is late Sultan Qaboos bin Saeed Al Saeed of Oman, was awarded with this last year, 2009 award. Okay? Uh, for you can say for his efforts to promote peace and non-violence in Gulf region. This is what ministry said. Okay. Former president of Bangladesh. Yes, see, Opal, you are right. Uh, here is our India. And since we are talking about the nation, so let's see. Uh, first of all, uh, let's talk about Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. So he was from Bangladesh. So here is Bangladesh. You can see. And uh, when we are talking about Oman, this one is called as Oman. And a 2009 award has gone to him. And 2020's award is going to uh, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Okay, now uh, let's talk something about Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. I will not be going in detail. First of all, he is considered as father of Bangladesh, like Mahatma Gandhi's our father, uh, father of nation. So, fa sorry, father of Bangladesh, the father of nation of Bangladesh, whatever you can say. Now, one more thing, uh, his famous name is called as Banga Bandhu also. So, sometimes uh, these questions are also asked, Banga Bandhu. So, he was instrumental in, you can say, independence of Bangladesh, right? And that is why he was the first president of Bangladesh. Please do not get confused. He was not the first prime minister because the chances that people get confused. I saw in some exam, they asked who was the first prime minister of Bangladesh and people got confused and marked Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. No, the first prime minister was Tajiduddin Ahmed. He was the first Prime Minister of uh, Bangladesh. Uh, spelling might be missed, uh, here and there, but please remember Tajuddin Ahmad is the right answer. As first Prime Minister, okay, he was the first President. Now, one more thing. Uh, you must have heard about this lady called Sheikh Hasina or Sheikh Hasina Wajid. Uh, she is the current Prime Minister of Bangladesh. So, she is the daughter of uh, this person, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, okay? She is the daughter of... Uh, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. So please remember this. In 1971, he fought for Bangladesh freedom and later he became president. Shitija Sahu. Yes, you are right. Absolutely right. That is why he is called as Banga Bandhu. Yes. Now, uh, when we are talking about Gandhi Peace Prize, uh, let's know what exactly is the Gandhi Peace Prize. It's an award uh, named after Gandhi. Gandhi is given by the government of India. So we don't need to go too much in detail, but the only thing we know is who gives this award. So government of India gives this award and the award is 1 crore rupees. Okay, started first in 1995. Okay, now uh, let's move on uh, to the next question and that is the 12th question. Who has been awarded uh, the Best Actress Award in 67th National Film Awards? I think it is very easy question because this was in news and their options are A. Kangana Ranawat, uh, B. Katrina Kaif, C. Priyanka Chopra and D. Jacqueline Fernandez. Uh, which one is the right answer? Viviani is saying A. Prachi, Ishwar, Kalyan, Shivaji, Diviani, Vandana, Nilofar, Rais, Agni, Varsha, Puja, Prajavat, Sahil, Shukla. Everyone is saying A. Pranjal Bhardwaj is saying Q. Q is no option. Nilofar, Aryan, Aditya, Pranjal, Janvi, Abhiyadar. Everyone is saying A. Ashish is saying Rashwood A. Uh, yes, uh, uh, there is unanimous consensus of this. A is the right answer. Actually, she became very famous. Uh, so, the Best Actress uh, Award has been gone to Shkangana Ranawat for her two movies, Mani Karnika and Panga. It is based on 
Queen of Jansi, right? Queen of Jansi. Rani Lakshmi Bai. Okay. Now, uh, let's move on uh, to the 13th question. And the 13th question says, who has been awarded the best actor? Okay. Award in 67th National Film Awards. Your options are A, Manoj Vajpayee. B, Dhanush, C, Karthik Aryan, D, Rasni Khan, and E, more than one of the above. See, why have we put this option? Because I have seen in some exam that they, did, they gave such type of options. So they gave four options, and the last they gave the option of more than one of the above. Divyani Ayush Pandey saying B, Agni Varshai saying E, Siyaupal Nilofar is saying B. Pooja Prajapat, Sahil Shuklai saying E. Shivaji saying A and B. Shivaji, uh, you have given two options. But uh, you have to find only one option correct. Okay? Divyani Ritika Srivastav D. Madhuri saying B. Agni Varshai saying A and B. B both. Raiswal saying E. Karishma A. Abhijit B. Priyanka A. Abhi Yadav is A. Pranjal Bharadwaj is saying B. Priyanshu Kumar A. Okay. Uh, so, uh, let's... Uh, so, whosoever has said A and B, they may be technically right, but in the exam, they could not fill two options. The answer is E. I have mentioned this more than one of the above. That's why if you are... Even if you know the answer and if you are saying A and B, your option is not right. Because you have to mark only one correct. Why I am saying so? Because I have seen in some exam this type of options. Okay, that's why I am telling you. So the answer is uh, actor Manoj Vajpayee for his film Bhosle and Dhanush for his film Asuran. So he is Dhanush and he is Manoj Vajpayee. Okay. Now, uh, let's move. Uh, Shivaji, sorry sir, option E. Yes, yes. Okay. So that's why uh, it is very important to have a mock sessions like this. Uh, okay. So the 14th question says, uh, which of the following film has been chosen as the best Hindi film in 67th National Film Award? Okay, uh, please be cautious. We are talking about best Hindi film. Okay, your options are A. Asuran, B. Panga, C. Manikarnika, D. Chichore, and E. None of the above. Divyani saying D. Ayush Agni, Divyani, Vandana. Ayan Rabbani saying D. Priyanshu is saying A. Agni Varsha Nilofar, Ranjal, Jasan Parit, Kaur, Pooja, Prajavat, Ashish Singh Rajput, all saying D. Ayan Rabbani saying Sushant Chichore. The rest of the people are saying D for sure. Janvi saying D for sure. Okay, most of the people are saying D. Vandana, Ayush, Aditya. Chitiji Sahu, Siyao Pal. Praise well. Love that film, DDD. Acha. Lagta after the movie, Dekhi. Okay. Priyanshu Kumar is saying A. So, uh, the right answer is actually D. And is Sushan Singh Rasput played Shishore. Yes. So, uh, you can say this is the best Hindi film. And this has gone to Shishore. And uh, he was one of the actor, you can say. Uh, you, this Shishore is Sushan Singh Rasput. Okay. There is a concept called as protagonist because this is uh, sometimes related to a movie also protagonist means a leading actor in any film it's called as protagonist sometimes these types of difficult words are asked in exam uh, why i'm telling you uh, for example uh, let's say uh, there is a very famous movie called as dawn 2 so you can say that mr uh, shahrukh khan is a protagonist in Dawn 2. Okay, so this is a sometimes uh, considered as a difficult word. People get confused. Okay, uh, now uh, let's talk about uh, 67th and National Film Awards. Ayan Rabbani is weeping for Sushant. Okay, so you can write rest in peace, Sushant Singh Rajput. Now, 67th and National Film Awards uh, is given by Directorate of Film Festival. Okay. And Directorate of Film Festival comes under Ministry of Information and Broadcasting under the Government of India. So, you can say in short, it is given by Government of India. 
and uh, the form uh, the formation is in 1973 it is a government agency so in short we can say that the national film awards are decided by the government of india now let's talk about books and authors and uh, uh, the first uh, question is question number 15 and it says who has written the book advantage india the story of indian tennis actually this was in news and the options are a ananya datta b sanya mirza c prakash padukone and D. Mahesh Bhupati. Prakash Padukane is the father of Deepika Padukane. Viviane is saying D. Mahesh Bhupati, Sahil Shukla, Ayush Pandey, Pranjal is saying A, confirm. Rai Swail is saying C, Agni Varsha is saying D. Aditya Balyan, Adnan Manzoor is saying A. Abhi Yadav is saying A, Deepan Shu is saying D, Faraz is saying C. Abhi Yadav Janvi, Abhi Yadav is saying A. Ashish Singh Rajput is saying D. Pooja Prajapat is saying A. Ayan Rabbanics are not confirmed, but going with A. Okay, so lock kar diya jai, right? Yes. So Madhuri Allah is saying A. Sitaram Lakshmi is saying C. Agni Varsha is saying A. So computer sir, lock kar diya jai. Answer is A. A is the right answer. Uh, An India Dutta interview. You can see this from first post. Author and Terry Singh, Indian Tennis Rich History. And she is the author of the book called as Advantage India, the story of Indian tennis. Okay. Now, uh, let's move on to the 16th question. And the 16th question says, who has translated the autobiography of Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan into English? So, uh, Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan is uh, famously called as Frontier Gandhi. If you have read in history, uh, Frontier Gandhi. He was a close associate of Mahatma Gandhi, you can say. And uh, the options are, a. Ramachandra Gua, B. Arundhati Roy, C. Imtiaz Ahmed Sahibzada, and D. Bipin Chandra. Actually, this book was in news very recently. And uh, actually, uh, autobiography, there is another word for autobiography. Sometimes they write this in exam, so people get confused. Memoir and autobiography are same thing. Autobiography means if you are writing for yourself, writing your story is called as autobiography. And biography means if you are writing for someone else, someone else's life, uh, that is called as biography, okay? Now, uh, this person has translated from Pashto, I guess. He, he had written, Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan had written his own autobiography in his own language. I guess that was in Pashto language. And it has been translated into English. And your options are, okay, so Anu Rais Adnan is uh, Sita Lakshmi, Vandana Singh is saying C, Anu from Gar is saying C, Sivaj is saying C. And Shu is saying B. Paraz is saying C. Lock kar diya jai. Anu from her. Yes. Lock kar diya jai. And the answer is uh, C. Imtiaz Ahmed Saif Zada is the right answer. Sruti Singh is saying Bipin Chandra. Uh, no. Imtiaz Ahmed Saif Zada is the right answer. My Life and Struggle, the autobiography of Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan. And here you can see translated from Pukhtu. Translated from Pukhto by Imtiaz Ahmed Sahib Zada. So, it was initially written in the language of Pukhto. Okay. So, this is clear. Uh, uh, okay. Now, let's move on. Uh, the question number 17. And the question number 17 says, Who has written the book Down Under the Dome? Actually, it's an e-book actually. Uh, which has been recently published. I know it is a little difficult question. Uh, so the options are Bhagat Singh Koshyari, Uddhav Thakri, Pati Pandey, or Chida Mukherjee. And the last is more than one of the above. Okay. Now, I hope you are aware that he is a CM of Maharashtra. And he is the governor of Maharashtra. Please give me the right answer. Ayush Pandey is saying A, Anu is saying A, Prachi Seth is saying E. 
Triviani sin ti. Pranjal Bhardwaj is saying E Diviani saying A and C. Ayan Rabbani not confirmed, sir. Okay. Ashish Singh Rajput is A. Priyansha Kumar is writing political science class 2 or chapter challenges of nation building. I could not understand what do you mean by this. Sita Lakshmi. Sita Lakshmi is saying E. Ishwara Kalyan Katta is saying E. Okay, yes, uh, the right answer is E. Okay. Uh, Maharashtra Governor Bhagat Singh Koshyari released the book, digital ebook, uh, called Dawn Under the Dome. Uh, the digital book depicts the history of Mumbai General Post Office. So, post office ki building ke baare mein isme uh, discuss kiya gaya. It has been authored by Postmaster General of Mumbai, Swati Pandey, in collaboration with Orchita Mukherjee. So, actually, the answer were these two. So, there was no C and D option. So, the answer is E, more than one of the above. Okay. Now, uh, let's move on to some of the important topic and that is important days. Uh, now, the question number 18 is, so we are uh, only two, three questions left. So, please be patient. And uh, the question 18 says, National Science Day celebrated on which day? And your options are A, 28th February, B, 1st March, C, 5th March, and D, 7th March. What is the right answer? Okay, uh, I have given in some options as more than one. Uh, I have seen in some exam, they write like this. More than one, slash none of the above. And this becomes more difficult. Sometimes these types of options are also given. Okay, so here I have given four options only. And a majority of the people are saying A. Can anybody say why A? What is the significance of A? Anu, Rais, Agni, Vandana, Janvi, Ashish Singh, Rajput, A, 28th February. Why 28th February? Yes, uh, A is the right answer. National Science Day is celebrated on uh, 28th February. Abhi are the right. Pranjal Bhardavad, uh, yes, absolutely right. India on 28th February each year to mark the discovery of Raman effect. Very good, very good. National Science Day is celebrated in India on 28th February to mark the discovery of Raman effect by Indian uh, physicist C.V. Raman. In fact, he was given Nobel Prize in Physics also, C.V. Raman. Okay. So that's why 28th February every year celebrated as National Science Day. Okay. Yes, Ayush Pandey, right. I, Vandana Singh, right. Raman effect. Prachi, Rais, all are right. Now, uh, let's talk about the question number 19. International Women's Day is celebrated on uh, which day? I think it is a very easy question. And those who are female candidates should opt at least correctly. The options are A, 8th March, B, 1st March, C, 9th March, and D, 7th March. Viviani saying C. Uh, rest of the people are Sahil, Prachi, Agni, Pranjal, Pooja saying A, Anu saying A. Rais, Janvi, Abhi, Abhi, Yadav, Siyaupal, all are saying A, Madhuri, Ayush. So most of the people are saying A, right? 8th March, Ashish Singh Rajput, Aditya Balyan, Suti Singh A. Okay, yes, right. Uh, 8th March is the uh, right answer, absolutely correct. And uh, why 8th March is celebrated? Uh, perhaps this is the reason. The date of 8th March was chosen for the celebration as it marks the day when women in Soviet Russia started protest for the right to vote, which they were granted in 1970. So on 8th March, uh, they protested, actually. Soviet Russia means, uh, we call it as USSR, Soviet Union of Socialist Republic. So before 1991, Russia was like this. It means it was a large Russia and it included other 15 nations also, which right now is independent. Okay. So 8th March was the day of protest and that is why uh, for right to vote for women. And that is why 8th March every year celebrated as. It is also a focal point of the women's right movement, bringing attention to issues such as gender equality. Yes, Pranjal Bhada was right. Absolutely. Now, let's talk about the question number 20. Okay. We are talking about right to vote. 
and there is a concept in india called as universal adult franchise okay it means every citizen in our country more than 18 years of age has a right to cast their vote so that is there you can say right clear now uh, your options are uh, now let's talk about the question number 20 and the options are international day of happiness is celebrated on which day and your options are a 15th march b 20th march c 21st march and d 7th march Sovika Janvi, Sitama Lakshmi, Anu from Gar, Sovik, Jena, Anu, Ayush Pandey all saying B. Rai Swail B. Okay, uh, there is one thing. I may not be able to pronounce your name uh, correctly. So uh, I am uh, I'm saying uh, in future, uh, you can say from advance, I'm sorry if I commit any mistake in pronouncing anyone's of your name. Okay. Vandana is saying B. Samarth is saying B. Stuti is saying Sovik, Jena, Stuti is saying 20th March. Aditya Bell and RNI, I was sad on this day too. Okay, no, no need to remain sad. There is nothing to remain sad. Everyone has problem in his life. So uh, Aditya Balian, no need to remain sad. Happiness in your life is very important. More important than money and any other thing. Okay. Yes, uh, the right answer is B. It's a unanimous consensus on it. And that is 20th March is the uh, right answer. And International Day of Happiness, 28th March 2021. In fact, uh, I have a video of uh, regarding uh, happiness index. You can uh, go and read, uh, watch that video also. And that was released on 20th March only. Okay, so... Uh, uh, this is all from my side and I hope that uh, uh, you would have liked this session and if you have any query you can uh, WhatsApp on this number and uh, you have your query you can call these two numbers and and as far as PDF is concerned I will consult the department concerned and uh, will try to provide uh, these things organized by United Nations to promote idea of happiness is a fundamental human goal yes Pranjal Bhadavaj you are absolutely right yes right so I'll try to arrange PDF for you also thank you Thanks a lot. Thank you, Pooja, Pranjal, everybody. I hope you would have liked this session.